Okay, just picked that up. Look at this beautiful morning. <laughs> Tried to dunk my boat under. Hang on, hang on. Pull out. Hang on. Yeah, he did. Yes, I did. He's testing himself. Yeah. Yep. We we forgot to unhook the front strap there, and about went under. But that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel, fishing with Norby. I'm Andrew Norby. It's my dad, Tom Norby. Good morning. And if you didn't see the last video, we wrecked him. We got some good ones. We we caught a 20 pound bag, and we're going for a bigger one this morning. We only have until 9 a.m. As you can tell. Sun's not up yet, it's beautiful out. It's just getting light. Let's catch him. So we're gonna fish deep today and drag a jig, drag a big worm, drop shot, deep, drop shot, deep crank, and whatever else comes to mind. So I'm excited. Bet's still on. Seven pounder, I'm back flipping in the water. All right, you gotta. He's gotta catch a seven. All right, let's get him. Now's our time. Get him. You want, you gonna drag something or you want a deep crank? Drag. All right. I'm going back here. You got one? There you go, Dad. First one that there, let out some slack there. White bass. Well, I think that's a good one. Oh, always grab this bill first. And then. I can't grab crap right now. <laughs> oh, your fingers are <laughs> My cut. fingers are shot. I can grab anything. You got them with all three trebles too. Yeah. It hurts just to hold the hook here. <laughs> Same place. Back? Yeah. Oh, you about hooked me, Dad. Yeah. yeah. I got one. <laughs> What's funny is this white is easier to reel in than my crankbait. 
around you or something. Weird. As far as that happened, our difference was casting. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> there you go. Another white. <laughs> yeah, that was a thousand of them. Next bottom. Thousand of them. I'm I'm throwing a crankbait. Next bottom fish are on the bottom, then. They're on the bottom. Turn back around there or what? Nope. Out the back. Yep, the current's blowing against this, so we gotta face this way. I have to go behind them. Where'd you land at? That's the spot. I think I got one. No, I got eelgrass. Giant mat of eelgrass right here. Got an old big and oh dang. I got something big on. If this is a bass, I got a giant. I don't know what I got, but it's big. I got a giant. Where's your net at? <laughs> it's in it's in this black tab. But this is a bass. Woo! I might have them hooked in the side. You can never tell how big they are. This black tab, you pull it up. Oh, come on. I don't know what I got, but he's big. Oh, what is it? Oh my gosh. A drum. Let me, let me get some of this grass off there. Maybe. He got a big old drum. All right, well, when, we're gonna net him because I gotta get my lure back. Oh, That's a giant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the biggest fish you've caught out of here. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Drums get a lot bigger than that too. That's a giant drum. Giant drum. You want me to hold him up? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Look at that. That's a giant, guys. <laughs> wow. Now well, how do you catch this with all the eelgrass? There's largemouth there. The eelgrass is. See, you gotta go on the right side of it. We can't cast where the best spot is because the eelgrass is over it, but it's blowing by. Maybe. Got one? Yeah. <laughs> you about knocked the rod out of your hand. Is he still on there? Yeah. Good. got got double double i got a double wow <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> you gotta get a picture of that your first double on the deep current double look at that <laughs> here hold the line by by your i'll get you a picture with them <laughs> Help them get them all off. Oh, yeah, I can't don't kick shake. Well off. Don't shake, fish. That's funny. Well, we could be playing all these up today. <laughs> Same spot, Dad. We're not. We're not going anywhere else. Oh, there you go, Dad. Nice. First cast, the old jig.
Ooh, that's a stud. Let, let a little line out there, Pops. No. And that's already Ooh. out. That's a big one. I think it's a spotted bass, too. Oh my gosh, Dad, that's a giant spotted bass. Wow. That is a giant spotted bass. Oh my gosh. There you go. Woo! First cast, too. <laughs> wow, Dad. Oh, I got one. Damn. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't have one. Let me get a picture of that one. That's weighing. That is a giant spotted bass. One, two, three. Wait. Got it. Want to weigh it? Yeah, I want to weigh it. That thing's huge. It's pushing five, probably. He's four and a half, probably. That's a big spot. All right. Zero on outer scale. That's a giant. Nope. Three, three, seven. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That is a fat spot. Oh my gosh. Look at that one, guys. All right. Got one? Yeah. Get him, Dad. <laughs> White. Well, today's the day we should have kept them to eat. Nice. We got him with all three treble hooks. A white bass fest. Wow, got it. Well, guys, I broke off. Just put on a shallower diving crankbait, little 6XD. I'm gonna try this color, a little green and chartreuse. Got another one. There you go. Dad's on a roll. It's making me take all his fish off though. Yeah. Got one. Smoked it. Right under us. These are healthy white bass. <laughs> Big old white bass. Another one. getting done fishing dad and i had a blast and we are going to feed the bass still have not finalized his name it is probably approaching close to three four weeks that we've had him now so you know get a couple minnows here and we're gonna go drop him in the tank he gets excited now every time i come over here to feed him turn the tank on he knows it's coming he knows it's coming there we go. Oh, missed him. Oh, chased him down. Top water. Come on. He's so fast. He spots that other one. There he goes. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He got it. He got it. That's sweet. I love watching them eat. 
it's amazing how many times the fish, even the littlest minnows, get away from him and they miss him. And you think we're fishing fast baits. How do the fish miss miss my bait or top water? How do they miss it? Well, they're not always the most accurate species in the water. So uh, they end up eating it. Leave your lure back in the water if one hits it. Drop it back in as quick as you can if he missed it because he's going to come back and eat it most likely. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. Had a blast out there with Dad as always. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.